Dude, you're crazy. Is it working? Ah, ah. Throw it! Whoa! Guys, nice. we can't really see what we're walking into. What was that? Oh, get out of here. Oh, there's another one. Put it out, put it out, put it out. It's not working! Ah. Ah. What is up guys? Today we are going to be testing the top 10 survival tools bought from Amazon. We've got a really awesome range of survival tools. We're going to see how well they'll actually help you survive. The one in particular I'm most excited for is this grappling hook. We're going to attempt to scale a huge tree or wall or something that we can find with it. That's my favorite one. Jeffrey's going to try it. Also stay tuned in because we're going to be testing a fireproof blanket with a with flamethrower. With my flamethrower. And one of us dangy bros might be inside of it, which will be cray cray. So let's get dangy. The first item on the list is this life straw. Ooh. So one of us is gonna go to a body of water and drink out of it. We want this to be dangerous. Yeah, what should we drink? Well, we have this water here that's been sitting in this fountain for a while. It looks pretty nasty. Dude, what if some one of us drinks our pee? No, it's good. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeff, Jeff you it? should drink your pee. Should pee. I drink my pee, dude? Drink the pee. Hold on. Drink, drink the pee. Drink right, the I'll, pee. I'm gonna pee in this real quick, and then I'll decide if I want to do it. Jeff, don't oh. pee on my wall. Ew. Dude, that's disgusting. Ew. Gross. Dude, dude pull light. your pants up. This is, is a family-friendly YouTube channel. Hold this. No, hold no. I'm holding that. Hold light, Chris. Hold it by no. the car. Hold it by the carabiner. Ew. Ew. I'm holding a bag of my brother's pee right now. Dude, should I drink it? You're literally already halfway there. I don't there. wanna drink it. Dude, drink it. Dude, wait. The tool says that it, it filters out 99% of 99 waterborne bacteria. Nine. Not pee-borne bacteria. Test on the fountain first, then try your pee. You didn't touch the handle, did you, after you peed? No. So, three to four inches, okay. we'll exhaust the air, and then, and then drink. There it goes. Now suck water lightly. I'm scared. I'm scared. Do it. Drink it. Mm. Mm. How is it? How is it? Mm. How is it? Well, tastes like water. <laughs> Dude, that's drink awesome. Drink the pee. Uh, now yeah. blow the straw after drinking. So take it out of the water and just blow out the water. How was it? Did it taste like water? It tasted just like regular water, but I mean, it is water. Oh my gosh. Drink the pee. Drink Send it. it. <laughs> I'm legit scared right now. Do it. Full oh, send. Oh gosh. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, I'm so, it's almost to the straw. I'm so scared. It's almost to the straw. I'm it's so scared. I'm terrified it's almost there. Oh, no. what what's up, babe? Is he drinking his pee? Is it water? Does it taste like water or pee? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, you're, you're chugging it. <laughs> He's chugging his pee. <laughs> Dude, there's a slight taste of pee, and it's really warm, but it's very, very subtle taste of pee. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's nasty. You made him drink his own pee? He, did. he volunteered. Why would you let him do that? <laughs> I need to use mouthwash. Hey babe, come kiss me. That was pretty nasty. Anyways, on to the next one. Our second item is a windproof lighter. Mm -hmm. So you guys probably can't see it, but when you press this button, little electric sparks like fly through here like, like crazy. The editor put a little effect when I click the button. Oh, that's not fair. You can turn the battery. But anyway, so Robert's going to be testing this one. He has to successfully build a fire with a fan blowing on the fire because yep. it's supposed to test if it's windproof or not. Mm -hmm. So let's do it. It's not windy right now, so. All right, there's a bunch of dead, uh, like, roots here. So we're just going to grab a ton of this stuff. Whoa! All right, I think this is enough. It's a good thing that we have a bunch of dry weeds in my house. Oh, wait, that's not a good thing. All right, I'm going to get a, a fire extinguisher just, just in case. case. Here's a regular lighter. Let's see if it works or it doesn't work. Here, get it real close. Real, real close. Real close, Ryan. Real close. No chance. No chance. Now we're going to set this, uh, we're going to light this paper tower and toss it on. Keep going. Oh, is it working? It's working. Well, the fire. Oh, oh it's, it's going. going. There's a fire. In the so this lighter successfully Created a fire in high wind conditions. Should I put it Pull? out? Yeah, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out, put it out. Oh, Fine. it's not working. Why isn't it working? Yeah. It's empty. Oh, no. it's empty. Ah! Get the bucket. Get the bucket. Oh, <laughs> that works. So the, the windproof lighter worked like Successful. a charm. Successful. On to the next dangy item. So for the one I'm looking forward to most, we have a grappling hook. So we're going to be going out and about, try to find a couple cool things to climb. 
Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll be able to like scale some cool walls or trees or something. Let's go. We're going to our first location. Whoa! 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 That was a big Whoa, drift. Geez. Well guys, we're gonna test this here grappling hook on our first obstacle, a tree. We're hoping that we can find like other things to scale. Like this is the easy one. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. There you oh, go. Pull it. Pull it tight. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I, I don't know if I, no, it's, it's stuck. stuck. It, no, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna break loose. It's stuck, dude. Jeff got these gloves, they're so soft, like this, it's not, there's no grip, dude. Really? These are nubby. I just Wait, look like I'm not wearing those. We tie a bigger rope to it, because we have thicker rope at home. This rope is too thin. So far, this uh, survival tool gets a zero. It's struggling, we, we still but, are going to be testing more with the thicker rope and everything. Yeah, we're going to put on a thicker rope and see if it works. I completed knotting up this whole entire rope here. We're going to tie it to the grappling hook and we'll head back out. This Untitled. is the uh, grappling yeah, hook 2.0, Daisy Bro version. All right, let's do it. Do it, Jeff. Let's see if we can climb this, this first obstacle. What wow. the heck was that? Your wind up and execution. Not, not good. Easy. Oh, wait, I was. That was, was even worse than mine. I was stepping on the rope. I was on the rope. Shoot. There we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, give it back. No, I want more. Oh, shoot. Oh! I think that's good, dude. Yeah! Dude. Oh, lit. All right, here we go. Ow! Use the gloves. Oh. Whoa! Just climb it. Ow! God, oh, it's so hard. It's the stupid rope, it needs to be thicker. So, what we figured out is the grappling hook itself is really good at getting hooked up there, but this rope... I'm really triggered that this is not working. I was really hoping that we'd actually be able to climb something here, but like, it just hurts your hands so bad. The original intent is for like a building. So like if you have the building, you're down here, ropes up here. So when you're on it, you can use the wall to help you climb up. I have an idea. Instead we hook it there and then we can climb up this part. It might work. I think it's good. Uh. Oh, Chris is doing it. It's working. Whoa. It worked! Oh. So you need a wall. You need a wall for the yes. grappling hook to yes. work. You can't just crawl, crawl up the rope. Well, you can if, it, if it, you have a thicker rope. Well, it's it worked. So. It did work. It did. I Honestly, it gave us a little trouble, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Only because it's still super cool. Yeah. But the original rope, 3 out of 10. Alright, let's move on to the next survival item. Moving on to survival item number 4, we got glow sticks. These are not just your regular glow sticks, they're super survival glow sticks. Safety light sticks. So we're going to be exploring this deep tunnel that we know of over here and see how well these things work and we'll give them a rating afterwards. We gotta head down the tunnel and get to the other tunnel. Guys, let me open mine right here. Oh, uh, it says eight, 12 hour lifespan. Here's the glow stick, looks like any other glow stick. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and green. It's cold in here. You gonna go? Uh, I, I have, I, I, I'm not prepared. Thanks bro. You're welcome. Activating our sticks here. All right, let's go. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at this. Guys, we can't really see what we're walking into. So these actually don't really help. I can't really see where I'm putting my feet. I'm coming. Go, go, go. I'm coming back. Okay. Let's go farther. You want to? A little bit. Should we disobey him? Just a little bit. I can't see. Does it just keep going up and up? Well, no, it'll flatten out eventually. I can't see a thing out there. I really can't see. Goodbye tunnel. Oh wait, it's out right here. I'll go a little farther. I'm ditching the danger bros. A ladder. Where does this lead to? Oh, that's probably the street. We keep going farther. Just a little bit. Okay, never mind. I'm freaked out. I'm turning around. These glow sticks for something like that where it's just super dark. Absolutely horrible, not good for survival at all. Completely disappointed but in this if stick. you're using it to signal someone, they could work. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. All right, we're moving on to our fifth survival item. Where is it? Do you have it? I don't have it. Oh, I have it. It's in my wallet. So if you guys can see this total, this thing totally fits in your wallet. It's a complete survival gun, how to survive any dangerous 
scenario. Like hot, how, hot coffee being poured on you? How to survive almost anything. And it also comes with a little fire starter mag, mag, magnifying. So if you open it up, and it has literally a guide to everything you could ever need to know. First aid, shelter, fire. It even has nuclear attack advice. Worst case threats. Mass destruction preparation. So to test this one, Robert, you're gonna pick one thing to do on this and you're gonna do it. Anything on here, huh? Yeah, anything on there. I think I wanna build a trap. See here, you can build rodent traps for food. The tools I need, it's a good slab of a rock. I need a, good a slab stick, of a, rock. a stick that can support that slab. And then I need some uh, some wire along with some, some food attached to it. Those are the materials I need. We're doing this DIY style. Nice. Well, that worked. Here's a rock. So we have some rope here. Take this. I don't like it when people watch me. Well, you got about 500,000 to a million people watching you right now. That's a lot of people. This was a real life situation, obviously. The line would be much, much longer. So you have this, right? There's some food attached to it. Okay, pretend Jeffrey's hand is a rabbit or, or a squirrel or something. Do, 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 do. Sees the food. It's so cute. He's walking onto the food. Gosh, it's so Don't fluffy. Ow! Oh, no. Ow! That hurt! Boom! Just like that, and then, you know, take it. Let's pretend this is the, the squirrel. Take it by the neck. Break it off. <laughs> so it's dead. <laughs> what the heck was that? There's also tons of other things on this guide, so I'd say it's pretty sweet. Mass destruction, preparation, a hostage situation. Wow. Um, trapping and fishing, it helps you with. Uh, foraging. Navigation, self-defense. So I'm gonna rate this guide nine out of ten. Robert's, in your demo pocket. Robert's demonstration. I'm gonna rate it a two out of ten. Me too. Dude, my demonstration was awesome. It worked perfectly. Moving on to the next product. We've got item number six. So this is a cool rope grenade. Ooh. It also has a compass in there if you it, can see. It looks like a legit grenade. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull the pin and see what happens. Oh, so you pull the pin and then the rope is ready. <laughs> what was that sound? No. Oh. Throw it. Whoa. <laughs> Wow! It worked. It exploded. Look at it. What darn it? Um, make it a little faster. Still ticking. Is that bad? Throw it back. Oh, dude. There's like chain in here for like sawing stuff. Dude, this is gonna take forever to unravel. Well, you got yourself some rope that you can use in a survival situation. What the heck what is, is in it? here? Open dude, it. there's so many things in here. Open it. Really? Dude. Hurry up. I want to see. Dude, there's so much in this little ball. Are you supposed to crack it open? Whoa. No! It's Did like it. a Pokeball. There's a chain in here for a saw. There's a little bit of twine. Fishing string. Uh, we, what a the? Mini pocket Look at this knife. little pocket knife. It's so cute. Oh, a, a flashlight that probably shouldn't be on. Um, tin foil. No, that's way too small. Is this a whistle? <whistles> it also acts as something else, I think. A dog tag? It's working! Whoa! Hey look, there's matches in here. Really? Yeah. Is this an emergency blanket? I wonder how big it gets. Dude, you got a... It's tin foil. Oh, gives you one band-aid. Oh, there's a hook in here. There's fishing tools in here. What is this? Is this aspirin in case you get a headache? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. All right. Easy, the little scissors. Dude, I rate this ball a 10 out of 10. For compactedness, for universality, and for awesome and survivability. So there's a ton of stuff in here. It's pretty cool, pretty handy. It's kind of hard to open, to be honest. Plus there's a lot of stuff in here that they didn't label and I have no idea what it is, like these weird pills. So I'm gonna say, yeah, it's a, it's a nine out of 10, I would say. Mm -hmm. Item number seven, we've got a USGI Industries. Can you tell me what that means? Um, United States Government Intelligence. Issue. We're gonna test this rain poncho here. Ooh, it's a camo rain poncho, pretty sweet. Full-size military spec. Features double-sided snaps and grommets. What the? There's no arm holes. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. Chris oh. is gonna get sprayed by some rain. I'm gonna be over here. Let's see how effective it is. Oh! No, oh, you need my feet wet, bro. Whoa, that's cool. It's uh. Is it working? Ah! Ah! How's it working? Um. Well, I can't hear anything. Just He's spraying me. You just heard us ask the question. Chris, my, are you wet? My is hands, your body wet? Is my your hands torso? are getting soaked. Is your torso wet? Is your clothes? Your clothes under this? No, uh, I'm actually pretty dry, but if I'm standing, my shoes get wet. 
You know, I think this needs to be for tall people because this is a short one. Many ways to use the poncho. Uh -huh. Build a tent, shelter out of it, use it to collect water, portable hand, oh, it's a portable hammock, but you look at that. And it's a ground tarp. Oh, so it's got multi-uses. It's a privacy current emergency, emergency stretcher slash carrier, use as mattresses, pillow, or blanket. Use it as a backpack, cover your tent. You know, if you're trying to survive in the wilderness, you'll yeah. go through any kinds of intense measures. Just survive. being squished. All right, I rate. next item. Wait, what about the six out of 10 rating? I get oh. it. All right, next up. Anyway, so let's open this up here. On one end, we have this glass breaker, so we can go ahead and break Chris's window here. <laughs> Just kidding. What else is in there? Okay, so this is a really cool part. There's a fishing pole. Ooh. See this wire and it comes with a hook? See that? So you just need some bait and you can actually um, screw this side on and then you actually have a whole on pole here that you can cast a line. Um, let's see what's next on this thing. Um, ooh, a knife and a bottle opener. See how sharp that is? This is a shank, dude. Like if you someone comes in a taxi, you just hold it like this and just oh. and you say. Check it out, there's a flint and steel. Oh, there, there you go. You see that? Ooh. Wow. It's pretty nifty. But it's pretty cool, so you can easily start a fire. You get some tinder, not the dating app. You put in a little thing, you get some wood, and you can create yourself a nice little fire. So the final tool on this is actually a whistle, if you see this little thing here. So this is what's gonna happen. Robert's gonna go inside. You're gonna start a five minute timer. I'm gonna run away somewhere. I'm gonna blow the whistle, and we're gonna see if Robert can find me just from listening for the whistle sound. Okay, so I think we should go up there. Up that hill? And I think there's some bushes I'll hide behind. This hill is so big! I think I'm gonna go hide behind that plant right there. Alright guys, it's been five minutes. We're gonna go outside and see if we can hear Jeff blow the whistle. If we can't, we're gonna go run and find him. It's like a search and seek miss you, rescue mission. All right, now we're gonna wait for Jeff to blow the whistle. I hear someone saying hello down there, but I don't think that's Jeff. I don't hear anything, do you? No. I hear the girls filming a video in the backyard. Maybe if we get closer to the street, I'll be able to hear something. All right, so I still don't hear the whistle, so we're gonna go up here. We're just gonna walk and see if maybe we can get closer to the whistle. Oh, I think I heard it. It sounded like it was coming from up there. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally coming from up there. I think we're definitely getting closer. The only thing is, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I definitely can hear it. Ryan, can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. It's coming from like right behind that bush. We gotta rescue him, come on. Found him right here. Finally rescue, I've been out here for three weeks, stranded feeding bugs and snakes. I'm gonna rate this thing like a nine out of 10. The whistle kind of sucks, cause like you have to be close to me to hear it. Like what, at what point could you start hearing it? Directly from the house, could not hear it. But uh, as I got closer to the hill, then I could definitely hear it a little bit more. What I'm trying to say is like, if you're stranded in like a forest with like a bunch of other noises going on, I doubt you'll be able to hear it. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna rate it a seven out of 10. I, the reason I'm rating it a 9 out of 10 is mainly because the fishing pole, that is useful in a survival si situation. You need food, you need protein, you Very need true. calories, you need vitamins and minerals if you're going to survive. So, you know what? I kind of like it. And there's a stabby stab on it. Who doesn't like a good stabby stab? And a flint steel. Fire, food, protection. Alright, on to enough. survival tool number 9. The ninth item is this don't die in the woods. Tent. It's literally called that. Check it out. Look at this cool container. Wow. Just Don't, steal my spotlight. I'm just showing you? them. So it protects, reflects 95% of your body heat. Room for two people. Waterproof, windproof, 80 plus square foot survival. Repackable, reusable, and weighs only 9.5 ounces, Ooh. which is very, very light. So for this bit, we're going to be flying to Antarctica for a week and testing it out. Put one end through here, and then we're going to tie it onto here. So it. It, I'm just getting in. All right. This thing kind of sucks, bro. What the heck? They just give you a big orange tarp. It up, unless you like tie it up. And then it's like you're in a bag, so then you suffocate. This tent sucks. I rated it a four out of 10. I rated it a one out of 10. I don't even want to do the water test. This thing sucks, bro. You're definitely going to get wet if rain is like 
If you're on the ground, you're definitely getting wet, no matter what. This tent sucks. We're about to move on to number 10, and this one is gonna get dangy, very dangy. The last and final survival tool is this fire blanket. There's a fire, you need to put it out. Put this blanket straight over it and it's gonna uh, ext it's extinguish it. So if you're on fire, you can wrap yourself in the blanket, roll around, and then it'll uh, get rid of it. In this case, we're gonna be putting our phones under the blanket and see if they will survive. All right, let's do it. iPhone 11 Pro, right No here. one cares what kind of phone you have, Chris. Here we go, right, rightfully so. This is all our Whoa. phones. Dude. Right, going this way, you guys ready? Yeah. Dude, you're crazy. Here you go. <laughs> Okay, stop for a second. Stop, 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 stop. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Dude! Are our phones okay? Is this it's hot? Dude, it's totally melting. Look at it. Dude, it's hot! It totally burnt. Chris, this doesn't work! What the? My phone's hot! Dude, See? my, my flamethrower totally melted through the I, blanket. I think it's designed to not catch fire, and it's and it's designed to put out fires, not to prevent heat from going through. Oh. Gotta Dude. light something on fire. That thing right there. That thing? Okay, and then we'll put it out. All right, let's see. Here we go. Whoa! That's on fire! It's smoke, you can see the smoke coming through. Dude, that's weird. Is it still on fire? Oh, it's it still is! It's on fire! Stop on it, stop on it! This blanket doesn't do anything. It kinda works. Dude, it, this is the worst idea ever. Dude, the stupid blanket sucks. I'm giving it a zero out of a 10. Yeah, me too, because like, it doesn't stop the heat, so. You're using it to protect yourself, you're gonna burn. So, we're gonna rate our top three favorite uh, survival tools that are worth getting. So mm -hmm. the first one would be the life straw. Yeah. I drank pee out of it and I'm not even sick. The second one would be the rope grenade. Ooh, Had a bunch cool. of very useful items all compacted into a tiny ball that was surrounded by rope. Third one is the grappling hook. It is super cool. We did struggle to get up with it, but if you have a thicker rope, it'll work. Yeah. So that is cool to me. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. Click right here for our previous video. Click right here for our video. YouTube recommends specifically for you. Click right here to subscribe for some awesome content while you're stuck inside. Bye.